Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Ma'am Terebena, your guidance counselor. So how are you doing today? I hope you are all doing great. So if you are feeling a little bit down, so you just have to say something affirmative to yourself. Like, I am beautiful, I am worthy. So I am the best, okay? So I hope it will somehow uplift your spirit and feel more motivated. Okay, so for today's video, we will be talking about depression. But before we formally begin, um, please do not forget to click first the subscribe button if you have the subscribe yet to this channel and also click the notification bell so you will be updated of all the videos related to mental health and how are we going to take care of our well-being now are you ready so let's begin do you know someone or have had experience with depression it's a common mental health condition that affects a large portion of the population so it's important to be aware of and recognize what depression is like Misconceptions and inaccurate information have contributed to a lot of people misunderstanding what depression is and how it affects people. In this video, we will present to you the 12 things about depression you need to know. Before we begin, I would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. Now, if you suspect you may have depression or any mental health condition, I highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional okay so let's begin with number one nobody is immune to depression now did you know that globally more than 264 million people suffer from depression and it's estimated that 15% of adult population will experience depression at some point in their life depression can uh, really affect people of all ages races and socioeconomic statuses Research even indicates that those in a certain professions such as law and uh, medicine are at a higher risk for depression. The rates of depression are also higher among those with a history of substance use. Okay? And also we have number two, men are reported to have a lower rate of depression than women. Studies have reported that 8.7% of women and 5.3% of men have depression. This may be because men are less likely to report their depression due to the stigma and fear of being seen as weak. Now, according to Brooklyn, New York-based therapist Justin Leoy, who specializes in men's counseling, depression in men is often masked by anger and irritability. Okay, and we have number three, untreated depression is the most common cause of suicide. Now, according to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, 45% of those who commit suicide are suffering from some sort of mental illness, including depression. Therefore, proper diagnosis and treatment for depression is very important as it may help prevent suicides. Now, if you or a loved one is suffering uh, or experiencing uh, suicidal thoughts, call your local suicide prevention uh, number or helpline. We also have number four, many who suffer from depression also have anxiety. Now, did you know that nearly 50% of all people diagnosed with major depression also suffer from an anxiety disorder? Now, while not everyone will de with depression will also have anxiety, these two mental illnesses are closely linked. So, it's important to discuss your symptoms with a doctor to receive the correct diagnosis. Okay, number five, people with depression can just snap out of it. Now, the biggest misconception about being depressed is that you can just snap out of it, but depression is actually much more complex than that. More often than not, someone with depression or any mental illness has very little control over how they feel, saying that they can just stop being depressed is insensitive and frustrating to those who are experiencing and struggling to cope with it. And also we have number six, being depressed is not the same as being sad. While many people may uh, use depression and sadness interchangeably, they mean two different things, okay? Sadness is a common emotion and reaction to when you get upset, and it usually lives after a few hours or days. However, depression is much more persistent, lasting for weeks, months, or even years, and can negatively impact your daily functioning. Okay, and we also have number seven. Depression is linked to changes in brain chemistry. Now, did you know that depression has been linked to an imbalance of neurotransmitters in our brain? And uh, this includes dopamine, which regulates emotion and memory. 
and we also have serotonin, the feel-good chemical that re regulates mood and sense of well-being. And we also have the neurofinephrine, which impacts your heart rate and blood pressure during fight or flight situations. Now, the theory is that having too much or too little of these neurotransmitters can cause or contribute to depression. We have number eight. There are different causes of depression. While the cause of depression aren't completely understood, it is likely that it's caused by a combination of factors. Genetics or environmental factors may play a part. Seasonal affective disorder, which is a depressive disorder caused by changing seasonal patterns, is triggered by disruptions of the circadian rhythm of the body. Now, changes in the production of function of hormones, including pregnancy, menopause, or thyroid issues may contribute to depression. Grief, trauma, and chronic stress are also possible triggers of depression. And also have number nine, depression is treatable. Now, some people may believe that depression isn't treatable and therefore refuse to ask for help. However, there are actually so many different and uh, effective treatment options and therapeutic approaches available. We have the cognitive behavioral therapy, social skills therapy, supportive counseling, and behavioral activation are only some of the options to choose from. Okay, and we also have number 10, depression isn't a choice. Now, it's important to know that no one chooses to be depressed. While being depressed or having any other mental illness is not a choice, how you decide to deal or cope with it is Choosing to do nothing or uh, deny you may have a problem may only result in worsening your symptoms. And we also have number 11, chronic pain can be another symptom of depression. There are many factors that can cause someone to become depressed and one of which can be chronic pain or discomfort. Now, being in physical pain for a long period of time may lead to depressive thoughts and eventual depression. And we also have number 12, depression distorts your thinking. When you are depressed, it may feel like your mind is starting to play tricks on you. And negative thinking patterns may distort your view of your relationships with others as well as your environment and contribute to feelings of paranoia, anxiety, and even thoughts about self-harm. Therefore, it's crucial to seek help and support so your negative and distorted view of the world doesn't worsen your symptoms. Now, do you relate to any of the things mentioned in this video? If you do, know that you are not alone and help is always available. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share and comment down below. And uh, of course, again, share it with others who may find it helpful too. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, your guidance counselor. So again, this is Mom Terebena, your guidance counselor, saying bye for now and see you on our next video.